Why is Amazon hiding its massive data centers? So today, we want to determine how big AWS is, and how big is the scope that such a prominent company is managing. Northern Virginia is one of the most significant of all the places where Amazon operates data centers, not least because it's where AWS set up its first storage in 2006. In the beginning, its mission was to solve an internal Amazon problem, namely to speed up the deployment of new applications and services, and now it has turned into a massive business and if something goes wrong, it will be on the verge of disaster, since a huge number of extremely unpopular websites and services will suddenly disappear. No Tinder for swipe, no GitHub, and no Netflix to chill out. Unlike Google and Facebook, AWS doesn't call attention to its data centers. There are absolutely no guided tours, and the website offers only approximate information about the location, which is divided into regions. There are at least two accessibility zones in the region, and there are several data centers in the accessibility zones. Northern Virginia being the heart of the internet is also a creepy town. There are many intelligence and defense contractor buildings. The fact that Northern Virginia is the site of major intelligence operations and major network infrastructure hubs isn't really a marker of a government conspiracy, but a confluence of stories. AWS holds a huge market share in the cloud computing sector. As shown in the figure below, it is larger than all four competitors put together. And it's not going to stop there. Last year, Amazon spent hundreds of millions to expand data centers in Northern Virginia, the world's hottest data market. The city is home to more than 100 data centers and is strategically located near Washington, DC. Let's talk about the design inside. In other words, a data center can be considered a giant smart refrigerator consisting of shell, power, cooling, and connectivity. It's said that data centers constitute 3% of the Earth's electricity consumption. Amazon continues to roll out infrastructure. Let's get to the most important part now. How big is AWS and how much traffic does it own. That's what I was most worried about. However, as previously stated, Amazon doesn't disclose its data or release exact figures about how much of the global internet is currently on top of its infrastructure. However, in 2012, the network intelligence startup Deepfield Blog estimated that, on average, one third of all daily internet users access a website running on AWS. Over the past few years, that percentage has likely only increased. Here's a map. Unfortunately, no detailed video of where all the data centers are located, but here's what we came across. An AWS data center that was found with the help of some news rather than an obscure government document. This perhaps not yet working center is located across the street from the retirement community and is surrounded by office parks, other data centers, and construction sites. It's a pretty funny scene when big hedges and lots of security are outside simple offices. What's the cooling process like? If you want to learn more details about data center, check out our videos on Google Data Center.